The Force Awakens. How do you feel about it? Well, it's, um, you know, I made the decision to sell the company, the Star Wars. I made that decision because I looked at the future. I looked at the fact that I was going to have a baby. I looked at the fact that I was married. And I looked at the fact that I wanted to build a museum. And I looked at the fact that I wanted to make experimental films. So my life was going on a different track. I noticed the last few movies that I'd made were costing the company a lot of money. And I didn't think that was fair to the people that worked there or the company. And so um, I had made a decision to move ahead on the next Star Wars series, and we were starting to do that. So you were starting to make the next Star Wars. Yeah. You as director, filmmaker. So, and we were working with a writer. It wasn't quite working out, but I was also, uh, you know, I was also stepping away a little bit to, and turning things over to uh, Kathy Kennedy. And so... Um, what happened was Disney said, gee, or Bob Iger said, gee, if you really want to sell your company, if you're thinking about selling it, because we were talking about retirement and what are you going to do after all this kind of stuff. And he said, well, if you really want to sell it, you know, we're very interested. So that started that ball rolling. And I knew from, you know, and I had the story treatments or, you know, outlines, and, um, and we were about to, we were working on scripts. And... Um, so I sold it, but I knew when I sold it, I said, I've tried to, uh, make movies where I step away to sort of Empire and, uh, Return of the Jedi. Right, right. And after about a couple of weeks, I knew I couldn't do that. I had to stand over the shoulder of the director, help him, you know, whisper in his ear constantly, no, do this, do that, do that, you know, and, and be there to help guide it. And it was much harder than if I had just directed it myself. J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. He's a good director and he's a good friend and all this sort of thing. But he's also a top director, company, his own company, all this other stuff. And Disney, uh, who was a little nervous, you know, there's one of the issues was the first three movies had all kinds of issues. They looked at the stories and they said, we want to make something for the fans. So I said, all I wanted to do was tell a story of what happened. You know, it started here and it went there. And it's all about generations and it's about, you know, the issues of fathers and sons and grandfathers. And it's a family soap opera. I mean, ultimately. I mean, space, we call it space opera, but it, people don't realize it's actually a soap opera. And it's all about family problems and that kind of, It's not about spaceships. So... They decided they didn't want to use those stories. They decided they were going to go do their own thing, and so I decided, fine, but basically I'm not going to try to... They weren't that keen to have me involved anyway, but at the same time I said, I'm not going to... If I get in there, I'm just going to cause trouble because they're not going to do what I want them to do, So, and I don't have the control to do that anymore, and all I would do is muck everything up. So I said, okay, I will go my way, and I'll let them go their way. And it really does come down to a, a simple rule of life, which is when you break up with somebody, the first rule is no phone calls. The second rule, you don't go over to their house and drive by to see what they're doing. The third one is you don't show up at their coffee shop or the things what you're going to burn in. You just say, no, gone, history, I'm moving forward. Because every time you do, and you know, we all learn this from experience, every time you do something like that, you're opening the wound again. And it just makes it harder for you. You have to put it behind you. And it's a very, very, very hard thing to do. But you have to just cut it off and say, okay, end the ballgame. i got to move on. And everything in your body says, don't. You can't. And these are my kids. So All those Star Wars films. All the Star Wars films. They were your kids. Yeah. Well, they are. My, you know, I, I loved them. I created them. Um, I'm very intimately involved in them. And obviously to and sell them off. Them. to I sold them to the white slavers that take these things and... and uh. <laughs> okay, but, but, I mean, but, but having said all that and having talked to you for the last... and, and known you for a, a while and admired you, I mean, it must hurt you. 
Well, no, I, it, 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 it's your family. It's no, but I that story. But, it's but, your but, story. But it's in the end, you. But it's, I knew there's three more stories, and I knew that was going to probably take, you know, to do it right would take about ten years. And I said, I'm seventy. I don't know whether I'll be here when I'm eighty. You know, every ten years the odds get less, and uh, so I said. And I'm not ready to do that because I want to do these other things. So I have to make the decision on my own that it's time for me to move on. So it wasn't like they were taken away from me or they were thinking. And they felt they knew, you know, they wanted to do a retro movie. I don't like that. I like I, every movie I worked very hard to make them different. I make them completely different with, you know, different planets, with different spaceships, with different, you know, to make it new. So and, are you at peace with this? Yeah. As much as you can be. Yeah. No, I was, I said, look, I'm fine. Then you get to the thing, which is another thing that I'd been through. Fortunately, I'm old enough to have been through all this stuff before. Uh, and that one is, say, I had to do it. And then you do end up with this thing, which is, you know, you've got to live with it and people are going to talk about it and all that kind of stuff. It's like talking about your divorce or something. It's just it's awkward, but it's not painful.